Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's 7S26Simon. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, using Hashcat. We're going to use the Try Hack Me platform for this. And uh, just a quick word, first of all. Um, I actually did this entire video yesterday um, and I found out that the GPU uh, drivers uh, for my graphics card were not installed. Uh, so it was actually using my uh, CPU. So this method is obviously significantly quicker because obviously uh, it's using a graphics card and um, yeah my drivers are now installing so if anyone uh, needs you know to do the same uh, I recommend this uh, short really short tutorial within eight steps you can have your graphics card drivers installed um, on a Ubuntu system this is um, so this is the website alexanderjsingleton.com and if you just basically do a google search for hashcat ubuntu 18.04 uh, i can verify that these work absolutely perfectly so with that being said let's move over to uh, level one i have completed level one as you can see um, but i'm just going to show you how quick um, this is to to crack so I've got uh, two files in here. I've got crack me and uh, the rocky password list. Um, I'm actually just going to remove the crack me and let's clear the screen. Let's take this hash here. And what we're going to do, uh, guys, is we're going to uh, echo that hash to a file called crack me. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, let me scroll back. As I say, I've done all of this already. so. No harm in doing it again, really. I uh, just want to show you guys the speed of it, really, with a, a graphics card. So we type in the valid uh, syntax. The M is basically M0. That's uh, MD5. This is an MD5 hash we're looking at, by the way. Um, and I think because we've already cracked this one, um, all we needed to do in this particular case was just do dash dash show and it will show us uh, what the password was. Let's take this one. Uh, this password was um, an MD4 password. So uh, what we actually need to do for this one is man hashcat. And then if we look for MD4, we can see that MD4 is 900 in hashcat. So we need to basically run that command um, and what we're going to do is let's just get rid of that show let's uh, edit the file so nano crack me and we're just going to delete that hash i'm going to enter the new one this is this one here we already know what the i've already cracked it we know what the result is going to be but i just want to show you guys how quick it is with a card so there we go we've got that set up let's hit enter and uh There we go, that is uh, complete. Now, I've just realized, I don't think the password was in that file. I think I used a different file to get that password. So what we are going to do, I'll just show you this uh, technique real quick. Um, echo, Eternity22, uh, sorry, my mistake. Echo Eternity22 into the Rocky list. What that'll do, it'll place that word at the end of the list. So now if we run our command again, we should hopefully find that this now does get cracked. And there you go. That's it. that's how quick it was. Obviously the word has to be in the uh, file, but seriously guys, do you see how quick that was? It was unbelievably quick. Um, I mean, it says here, you know, we're looking at about six seconds there that password to be cracked and it really does kind of hit home when you see how quick it would take an attacker to uh, to attack uh, you know crack some of these passwords so let's go ahead uh, I wasn't planning to do this but uh, it says here this task increases in difficulty all of the answers will be in the classic Rocky password list um, you might it might be handy to look at some of the example hashes okay so let's go ahead and we'll use, I, I haven't done these ones by the way guys, so you're doing these at the same time as me. So let's uh, 
let's take that hash. Uh, by looking at that, I'm not entirely sure what that hash is going to be. So let's go and take a look at the examples. And uh, let me just paste that hash there so we can have a look. So it's quite uh, quite long. It's a mixture of um, letters, numbers. What could we be looking at? Uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to find that same password. Uh, do we have to find in here? But we just want to look for something similar. There's that many different hashes. <clears throat> Excuse me, it could be, it really could be any number. Um, I guess what we kind of want is to count characters in uh, bash. Okay, so what we can probably do here. We can use word count. Maybe something like that would work, maybe. Crack me. So we've got 65 characters. Um, that actually doesn't really help us here because uh, we can't. And I wonder if that's a fixed amount of characters. So 65 characters hash. Let's have a look. Length of my SHA-256, only 64. Let's just click this here, check my length, 65. SHA-1 and 25 cells. So it could be a, 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 a SHA-1. Interesting, okay, let's try SHA-1. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do for SHA-1, I think SHA-1 was 900, man, hash, cat. SHA-1, sorry, SHA-1 was 100, 974, wasn't it? So 100, oh, it could be this, couldn't it, with a salt. So let's try 100, and if that doesn't work, we'll try 110. Oops, no hash is loaded. What have we done there? I know, crack me. Or maybe it just isn't SHA-1. Maybe... On an assault, no. Oh, separator unmatched. Hmm, that's a new one. Okay, let's have a look at that error. SHA-1, oh, uh, what did it say? Separator unmatched. Ashes containing a dollar need to be enclosed in single quotes. Okay, we don't have any dollars in ours. We definitely don't have any dollars, but let's encode it in quotes anyway. Let's just see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Hash encoding exception. So what we're gonna do for this one is this is probably already been cracked. Let's just see. So someone's saying it's SHA-256. Let's just uh, man hash cat SHA-256. So it's 1400. Um, and if that doesn't work, we'll try 1410. So let's try 1400. Okay, doesn't work. Let's try 1410. Still doesn't work. Hmm. Is a walkthrough. Let's click on the walkthrough. Let's see what we are doing wrong. Uh, so similar to one to one. The mode is M fourteen hundred. Okay, let's get rid of the. No, no, crack me. Let's just paste that again without the quotes. Oh, show. 
maybe we'd already done that one and just not typed it in. So the answer is poorly. Like I said, I did some of these yesterday, so maybe maybe that's why. Okay, this one I think was the um, NTLM hash, I believe. Let's see if it is NTLM, which it is. So let's uh, let's try this one. Let's go uh, with that one. Okay, man hashcat NTLM, and that's 1000. So let's run this. Oops, let's get rid of show. And hopefully this should give us the answer. And the answer is this here, according to uh, Hashcat. It's a really obscure uh, answer. Let's hit submit. Nice. Okay, now this might be a slightly more difficult one. Um, really hard salt. A really hard salt. And then we've got all of this uh, stuff here. So um, a hash that starts with a six. Let's do a dollar six dollar. And we're looking here at um, 1800. So SHA 512. Okay, nice. So SHA 512. Do we need the dot at the end? I'm not sure. Let's, uh, I'm sure we do. Let's uh, do nano on the file. Let's enter the file, save it. And uh, what we want to do is, uh, we said 1800 for this. So it's got uh, five rounds. I wonder if we needed to enter a different command into hashcat. Let's just see if this does work. Let's just hit resume. Resume. Oh, here we go. Append minus O to the command line. This lowers the maximum supported password and salt length to plea down to 32. Okay, let's um, quit. And uh, what we're going to do is minus O and what did it say? Oh, that's all we need to do, just minus O. And that should work. Resume, 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 resume. Is this going to work? Shot 512. Really hard to salt, yep. Yeah. So I think it is still running. Yeah, it's definitely running. Uh, really hard salt. Temperature 64, fan 36. So hopefully this isn't going to... Just while that's running, guys, we might as well check the... Uh... Yeah, this guy has actually completed that one and he put M1000, which is uh, exactly what we put. So let's continue on. We've definitely got the right command. We just need to spend a little bit of time and energy uh, trying to crack this one. Uh, yeah, we definitely use... Oh, or no, did we make a mistake? What challenge was this? Oh, three. My bad. Yeah, here we go. So M1800, which is what we put. So we are correct. Oh, here we go. Has it cracked? Has it cracked? Yes, it has. Waka 99. That was very intense. So let's hit submit. And then finally, uh, we've got this hash here. Um, let's just 
HMAC SHA-1. So, could we have guessed that's HMAC SHA-1? HMAC SHA-1. So 150. So this one doesn't have, it's slightly different than the example. Um, and that's because the salt, the salt is try hack me. Uh, so the salt is at the end. Oh, so it's this one here. So that's 160 we need to use. Let's do nano crack me. And enter this. And then we're going to use uh, 160 and um, take off the minus O. Or maybe we need the minus O. Hmm. No hash is loaded. Hash file crack. Line length exception. Oh, because we haven't included. We haven't included the salt, have we? So let's go back in. And then give that a shot. And there you go, guys. Uh, we have got the password. So let's enter that, and that should submit. And there we go. We've just completed the room, um, and that's how it's done. So that's fantastic. That was really entertaining, um, at least for me. Um, so some of these videos, guys, when I put them online, they're kind of for me um, to make sure I'm learning stuff, to make sure I'm doing the right commands, I'm following the right... Um, you know, so like this site, for example, I'm now going to bookmark this because this is super useful. Um, if this helps you, that's really cool. Um, but some of these videos aren't really to kind of teach you. Some are. If you pick up any tips, that's great. Um, but again, you know, feel free to, if these help you out or you want to comment, uh, feel free. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this has been somewhat useful and uh, I'll see you in the next one.